Uh, good morning, Golden Flashes fans. Tuesday, uh, Tuesday morning of the MAC tournament week. Um, we're still here in, in uh, Kent, which is a good thing, uh, which means that uh, we've got that bye to, uh, to Thursday. So uh, we had a great week last week, obviously, with uh, winning at Bowling Green and then beating Akron the way we did uh, to win the uh, regular season. And the way things fell, we were able to win the overall or get a, a piece of the overall championship uh, due to tiebreakers. We're the third seed, as everybody knows, so we will play the late game Thursday night up at the queue. Uh, we're excited about it. We really are. Uh, our kids uh, came in Sunday evening after study hall. We were off Saturday, came in Sunday evening after study hall. We sort of broke down uh, who the possible teams are that we play. Uh, we now know that it will either be Akron or Western Michigan Thursday night. Uh, we shot some free throws yesterday. We came in and shot uh, and I talked to our kids because the uh, MAC Awards came out yesterday. And, um, you know, Jimmy won first team uh, all-conference. Um, Deb Manley was awarded second team all-conference. Chris was an honorable mention. And uh, later today he'll get announced, I think, uh, that he's the sixth man of the year. Uh, we're still hoping that Derek has a chance to get defensive player of the year. Uh, but regardless of if he does or doesn't, we have our own uh, award system that we we give our kids each year based upon doing things that don't fit in the stat sheet we call it our we go award uh, which is everybody has an ego but these are the things that help we as a team go and their dives on the floor and taking charges and getting deflections Derek won it last year and right now he's four ahead of Kalik uh, to get it for back-to-back -back years so in our world uh, the things that Derek's done even though he may or may not win an award from the league. Uh, we all know how important he's been to our championship uh, season. So we'll head up uh, tomorrow. We'll practice this afternoon. We'll head up tomorrow. We shoot at the queue for an hour. That's all they give us. So we'll be up there for one hour tomorrow. Uh, our kids will go to the game tomorrow night and at least, at least watch part of it. My staff, those guys have to scout and uh, get prepared for two opponents. Uh, Coach McKee does some of the video stuff. Uh, Coach Hout does all the team stuff. And uh, Coach Haynes does all the personnel, uh, getting ourselves ready for who we play. So those guys have been busy. Um, I've watched our last game, obviously, against Akron. And today I'll watch our game uh, from earlier in the season against Western and try to look at some things that we need to improve upon uh, if we play them again. So exciting week. Three games in three days. Obviously, the uh, the way the tournament unfolded, it, it would be a heck of a run for us if we could uh, win it all, uh, having to go through either Akron uh, or Western, who's the defending champs, uh, then playing Buffalo, who obviously beat us twice this year, uh, and then playing on the other side of the bracket. Not exactly who, sure who it would be, but whoever it's going to be is going to be a team that has won 20-plus games this year. and. Um, it will certainly be a challenge for us, but our kids are up for it. We're excited about it and uh, really proud of the effort that brought us a, a regular season championship. And now here we go to the MAC tournament. Uh, appreciate you guys and really hope to see everybody up in Cleveland Thursday evening. Thank you.